Our three ski resorts are located here in the National Park, which makes it so special. Viewing wildlife is a bucket list activity for many people, and you can see all types of wildlife throughout the seasons. Today, we're taking you to Lake Louise, where the wildlife is just outside your door. Hi, I'm Matt Patterson, and I'm one of the interpretive guides here at the Lake Louise Ski Resort. I've been living in the Bow Valley since about 2014, when I moved here because I found out about all the amazing winter activities I can do right outside my front door. During your visit here to Banff National Park during the winter months, you're probably going to see some skiers, snowboarders, and snowshoers, but you might not see too many of our wildlife species. And that's because in the central Canadian Rockies, we have very wintry winters. So any of the animal species who exist here need to employ one of several different strategies to survive through the winter months. While some might choose to hibernate away the winter in a nice warm den, other species might have to employ every trick in the book to tolerate their way through the winter months. Just like you've chosen to take part in a migration of sorts to come and visit us here at Banff National Park, many of our wildlife species also take part in seasonal migrations. Some species like the mountain goats, bighorn sheep and other grazers will make the move from their summer spots in some of the high up mountain cliffs and meadows to their winter spots down near the valley bottoms. Just like some of our nearby Canadian friends might come to visit us from spots in Alberta or British Columbia. Then there are some of our more well-traveled species who will make their way from their summer spots up here in the Canadian Rockies all the way south as far as Mexico or Central and South America. And this is why you might not see any of our bird species during the winter months so let's really take the time. Then you've got the species who choose to simply sit the winter out and hibernate their way through to spring. This would be the burrowing squirrels, amphibians, snakes and bears. Hibernating helps those species survive through to the next spring when they'll emerge and spend the entire spring and summer eating as much as they possibly can so that they can put on enough weight to survive through the next winter. If you feel a kinship with one of these species, you'll likely find yourself at one of the amazing restaurants, hot tubs, or cozy fireplaces that can be found here. For the rest of you, you're going to want to follow the lead of the other animal species and find a way to tolerate the winter weather so that you can get out and enjoy all the amazing winter activities. Be sure to copy the moose, wolves, and ptarmigan who all put on stylish and functional winter coats you will want to wear nice warm socks and boots, mittens or gloves, and a nice warm hat. If you're planning to be outside for the day, you'll also want a backpack with some water, extra layers, and food. You might also want to consider traveling with the guide if you haven't spent much time outside in the winter before. If you plan to travel on top of the snow instead of through it, you're going to want to be like the lynx or snowshoe hare who both have huge feet which help them travel on top of the snow. Since the average human would need feet that are more than three meters long to stay on top of the snow as well as a snowshoe hare, you might want to find yourself a pair of skis, snowboard, cross-country skis, or some snowshoes to help you stay on top of the snow instead of traveling through. So it doesn't matter whether you identify with the migrators, hibernators, tolerators, or a mix of the three, there are endless opportunities for you to explore and enjoy Banff National Park. Don't forget to bring your camera. You never know when you're going to see the wildlife. And when you do, be mindful, give them some space and take your pictures from a distance.